For me, I'm a no light advocate. I don't like light. There are some people that when they have orgasm, <laughs> every human being has a different reaction. Some girls, like if they were electrostate or like if they are eating raw pepper, that's how some girls are. And who has a man to be seeing their face? They're looking funny. Today on my channel, I'll be talking about is sex much more pleasurable, much more enjoyable with the lights on or with the lights off? <laughs> this is my kind of topic. I'm going to break it down for you guys very well. This is my expertise. For me, yo, I'm talking about me. When I just meet someone, when I like you and we begin to interact and all that stuff, and we finally get to the point of having sex, we finally get to the point of being physical, sexually. I am not going to be offering the lights with you. Those first sexual interactions, I am not going to be offering the lights with you. Because for me, those first sexual interactions after three months, let's say like after six months or even a year, the lights have to be on. Because I need to know what I am dealing with. The light being on for me is for my safety. Because there are some people out there, they have different ailments. There are some people out there that have some STDs, you'll be seeing some lumps or some things or whatever things down there. And if the lights are not on, you will not be able to see those things. You will not be able to detect. Because sometimes having the lights on can make you see those things. And even if you voice it out to the person, that, ah, what is this? This thing is looking very funny. Even if the person doesn't answer you straightforward, you are going to refrain from moving any further. You are going to either just stop at kissing or maybe being touchy or all that stuff. But your first sexual interactions are going to be with light on it is very important do not just go ahead and meet somebody for the first time pop, 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 out of excitement just go to the room no checking just jump in the bed and just have sex with each other ha! do not do that though especially with no protection i know that yes you might be very excited all your hormones and everything will be all over the place but always try to control yourself when you get to the hotel or to the person's place tell them that no i need the lights on there is nothing like romantic light. There's nothing like blue light. I need this proper LED UV light on. I need to screen the area, all right? It is very important. But after I have tested you, finish. Let's say I have been with you for like a year. And it's confirmed though that you are mine. And I've confirmed that I am yours. And I have never gone back home. Or I have never been in public and found myself scratching places. Or I have never seen myself with used infections. Or I've never seen myself going to STD clinics for checkups and they tell me that ah you have this thing. If I know that you are mine and I am yours and I have never felt anything burning sensation down there, then now for me, Valerie, there's no more need for light. Because now I'll be willing to show you my freaky. There's no more need for light. What do we need lights for? Max, max. I'm going to go to IKEA and buy those romantic lights, those red, bluish lights. But apart from that. I will no longer need light with you because now I know your body. You haven't given me any reason to doubt you and all that stuff. And now I can be having fun with you. I don't need light. And even if I still need to do some cross checking after a few months or maybe after a few years, I can use my fingers to be passing around and maybe you can use those romantic lights. I'm still going to be seeing some things. And the reason why I'm saying this is because 80% of human beings on earth are not fully comfortable with their bodies 80 percent or possibly even more there are even some people that you looking at them you're like this is perfection this is impeccable this is an impeccable creation but that person doesn't think they're that good looking they don't believe in themselves that is in their mind that is why most times you will find couples that will be like my wife is very boring my boyfriend my girlfriend is very boring eh? She's always acting like a raven sister. I may be asking myself, I don't even know how to make her even come out of that her shyness. They are not boring. If you think about it, if you remember every time that you guys had sex, the light must have been on. You cannot be having sex with somebody and the light is so bright like it's 12 noon in the afternoon now. You guys are standing in the sunlight outside having sex. No. No, 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 no. It's not everybody that's comfortable with their body. Every human being has something that they're not happy about. Some people is stretch marks. Some people they are born with funny things. Some people have some growth somewhere. Some people is just not everybody's comfortable with their body. Some people is weight. Some people they have excess fat around the waistline. Some people is just 
some marks on their bodies they're not comfortable with it and if you want to really enjoy them you will have to turn the light off you have no choice than to turn the light off or you're going to keep on going years after years and that person you're never going to reach orgasm with that person because all that physical thing it matters at the beginning it's at the beginning that it matters that's my observation it really matters when you maybe you have been exercising you are a beast at exercising you want to show off your abs you want to show off your thighs or maybe you're wearing your brand new boxers ugo boss or Calvin Klein. you want to show how clean you are all those things matter at the beginning but later on all you care about is the seven heaven that you're going to wish you don't care about all those uh, i have abs and all that stuff yes you have abs but what are you doing for me what sensations are you giving me at the end of the day everything is about sensations for me it's about sensation it's not about your abs yes your abs is an extra package but that is not what i'm going to care about forever it is where you are taking me to so like i was saying that is why sometimes some men will be like ah, my wife is so boring my girlfriend is so boring when i tell her to act her back like this to bend like this she doesn't want to bend when i tell her to sit on top of me and do some movement she doesn't want to do it when i tell her to give me blow job she doesn't know how to do it she'll be telling me how oh this is not good this is not this, this is not she's not comfortable ah her throat ah her tongue oh her teeth this and this looking for all kinds of excuses do you know why she's doing that it's because she's not comfortable same thing for men you see some men will be like eh, me i'm not comfortable with going down there i'm not comfortable with this and everything i mean when he's going to go down there he's going to be going down there, like he's having an allergic reaction to something the reason why he's like that is because the lights are on human beings show that animalistic side when they're in darkness of that like you see the way that girl will blow you you think it's vacuum aspirator they connected to that thing the way she will what some of them don't want to see how and eh, all those eh, spitting, all that sloppiness. They like, I don't want my husband to see me like a hoe. They are too busy playing Reverend Sister. Some people are very boutique. So, if you want to enjoy them, off light. There's nothing wrong with offering light, all right? Or if you want your man to go down on you, and you want him to actually do an impeccable job, off that light. And the reason why I'm saying lights off are very important is because, think about it. Let me give you guys an example. When you're hungry, when you're really hungry. You enter a restaurant or a lunch or you go to a bar and they give you a drink or a food or something that first lick of your ice cream that you're going to take that first bite or that first lick is always ah it's so good yes you close your eyes most times when you meet a woman and your first kiss because you guys the adrenaline is so high when you get to kiss you don't kiss with your eyes open you kiss with your eyes closed it's more passionate when your eyes are closed there is so much passion. You feel like, mm, mm. who does that with eyes open? When your eyes, when your eyes are open, there is no passion. Let me give you guys another example. When you're praying, I don't know for you, but me, I feel like my prayers are more powerful when I close my eyes. When my eyes are open or when the lights are on, I am distracted. But when I close my eyes, I can feel my soul. I can feel my spirit leaving my body. I can feel that strong connection with God. I forgot about everything around me. That connection is so strong. That's why I say, in everything that a human being does, if you want to see a human being's passion of light, especially when it has to do with sex, human beings don't need light to have sex. They don't need light to enjoy sex. No. Human being is the only creature. Even put band-aid on the eye like this, tie something on the eyes. It's all about knowing the body. You will know where to find that hole. You will know where to enter. You don't need light. And there are some people too that when they reach orgasm, because sex is not about ejaculation. Some people think sex is ejaculation. No. Sex is not about ejaculation. There are some men that ejaculate, but they actually didn't have fun. They only had sex because you wanted to have sex. Or maybe they asked you and you don't know how to do things. And when they ejaculate, you feel like, ah, you must be happy. No. You have to reach climax. You have to have orgasm and there's some people that want they have orgasm <laughs> every human being has a different reaction some girls <laughs> like if they were electrocuted or like if they're eating raw pepper that's how some girls are and who has a man to be seeing their face they're looking funny there are some men they'll be looking at you like a serial killer <laughs> you'll be like what is going on here there are some people, their fingers are like this, their toes are just suspended like this. They look like tiger cats. They don't want you to see that. That is why if you want them to fully climax, 
of the light. Let them enjoy themselves. Why do you need light? Take your pleasure. Let me take my pleasure. Then we will just knock off and sleep. That's why some people don't want lights on. Some people want you with the lights are on. Especially most men. When you tell a woman, when you lie down, most men, you guys are perverts. <laughs> we know ourselves. You lie down like this on the bed. You want the woman's legs to be open on top of you. And you want her butt to be facing your face. And her face to be facing over there. Because all you're interested in is to see your something. That movement. That is what is exciting you. So you want your woman to do that for you. Us women, sometimes, you take us at the wrong time. It's not everything that you give a woman time to shower. Sometimes she just come. Ah, she come back from work. You just pull her and take her to the room. And the whole day she has been peeing. She has been wiping her butt. Sometimes there's tissue there. Sometimes some of them are not able to shave properly. There's hair there. Some of them, like I said, they have something that are comfortable with. Some of them, there are even some women that are not comfortable with the discoloration in between their butt cheeks. There are some women like that. So when she's opening her legs and she's on top of you like this, you can see all that darkness in between her butt cheeks. Some of them, they bleach. You can see all that difference. You can see some of them even they are wondering if mushrooms are really growing down there. So the whole time as she's trying to do it to please you, she's bending over there, but instead of giving you pleasure, she's not focused on giving you pleasure. All she's thinking about, she's thinking about ah, hey, what is that guy doing? What case is he studying back there? What is he looking like? Is he going to judge me? That is how it is. That's why it's very good to turn off the light. If you turn off the light now, if she opens her legs and like and her like this, or you have small romantic light. Well, you can just see shadow of what is happening. It's going to be enjoyable. They have been fully exposed like this. Her legs are just open back down like a frog. You are just cleaning the whole place. They're going to have issues too. And there are some women too. Most times, for men, weight does matter. Because when a man is overweight, sometimes their stomach hides their genitals and all that stuff. But for us women, hmm, there are some women that are 300 LBS. But they are very flexible in bed. When I mean flexible, I mean really flexible in bed. But just because they are fat, they are obese, they feel insecure. Especially for you skinny men. Most times, those tall skinny men, you like obese women, you like big women. You like that uh, cautioning. That's what you like. But you take the girl to the room now. Maybe the way you see the girl whining in the club like this, you'll be like, hey, this girl be a bad bitch. But I think as I said, why in the club, she's able to whine like that. She's able to whine very well because... The lights are off. Some girls see them in the club. Oh, they're talking their hands like this. Everything is just the way they'll be backing it up. You'll be like, what the hell? This one should just get a hotel and go and be doing her thing there. But they are doing that because the lights are off. Every human being is a bigger sinner when the lights are off. When the lights are on, they feel like God is in front of them. So if you carry a big girl and you go home with her and she's not performing very well in bed, turn off the light. You will see how flexible she can be. When the light is on, you will carry this leg like this. You'll be like, baby, stretch your leg like this. You'll be like, ah, you're hurting me, you're hurting me. Don't open here, don't open here. Don't have the light. You will see how you will even stretch her leg. Her leg will reach behind her head like this. She'll be more than comfortable. She's not going to complain. There are also some girls on their bodies. Like I said, some features, they don't like it. Some girls, their nipples are very small. Their nipples have funny shape. Some girls, maybe, like I said, stretch marks or they have some growth somewhere. Some girls with stomach uh, fat and all that stuff, they're not comfortable. No matter what you do, they're not going to be comfortable. So you have to turn off the light. I also know that there are some people, even me, I'm like that. There are some people that their fetish is when you're having sex with them, they want the eye contact. They want to see you, that deep look, eye to eye. They want to hear you moaning and all that stuff. There are some people that are like that. So they need lights on. But if you see that your partner is not that too comfortable with such a bright light, take a dim light, romantic light and everything. You can still see the eye connection. You don't need to go and be LED light, UV light and be flashing it on the person. No. And still enjoy the eye to eye connection. But don't just go and throw away your relationship because you say, my boyfriend cannot perform in bed. My husband cannot perform. There's also some men. They know that they can satisfy you. But maybe their penis shape is not looking the way they want it. Because they have different kinds of penis out there. So they are not that comfortable with you seeing that. Maybe you guys have been together for a while, then they will show you all that stuff. But like I said, at the beginning, light is very important. Because there are some features on the body sometimes. When you wait too far in the relationship before you discover it, it can just disgust you. And you end up hurting the person's feelings. Because the person was thinking that the relationship is going well. Then later on, maybe you, you are not okay with what is on your body, which is very normal. Because everybody has something that disgusts them. 
that's why at the beginning light is very important because at the beginning you get to screen all those things and make a choice if you want to be that person or no but let me know down below if you are a light person or a no light person but for me light is at the beginning for screening to see if i'm going to continue the journey with you or not light is to also <laughs> stop me from rushing into things then say if i had known because i had known it's not going to help anybody but me personally i don't like light if you have to have light put a dim light or something because i'm even the kind of person that <laughs> when the lights are off <laughs> you'll be surprised there will be no music in the room but me now i'll start playing different jamaican songs in my head i'll be singing music in my head is it is it is it me i'll be singing vibes kate is it edonia bini man and the way i'll be moving my body you'll be like hey is that music playing there's no music playing no but just because you all that light i'll start singing in my head and performing for you so me i'm a no light advocate i don't like light so let me know down below if you like light or you don't like light. And if you want to try it, if your partner is stuck up, if you have a stuck up wife, then when you say go down on me, nah, no, no. And when she goes down there, she'll be doing that thing like say she's drinking liver queen. If you have been turning on the lights, start turning off the light. The first night, she might act a little bit shy, but with time, you will carry that your same wife or that your same girlfriend. You're going to drop her somewhere and say, prostitute, I shall go. <laughs> that is how freaky she's going to freak the shit out of you so try it out and let me know so go and try it out though and let me know and you will come back and comment in the comment section that ah binary ha you were right too i turned up the light and i saw wonders that is all i have to say for today bye